Hi there, Mark Bowden here, expert in human behaviour and body language. Here with you today with Peach here, looking a little bit forlorn. She got thrown out of the downstairs office for being a little bit annoying in a meeting down there. So she gets to join me for our meeting here today. I want to talk to you a little bit more about equipment. I know that you've all been saying that you quite like the equipment videos that I've been doing for you. 2022, here comes another one for you. I've had a bit of an upgrade I'd like you to see it now look if you are somebody and there's no problem with this where you just need a really good webcam uh, to have virtual meetings uh, do virtual webinars great fantastic uh, Logitech Brio on a Plexicam I'll show you Plexicam in a moment it's fantastic you want to go that way why might I have really gone out on a limb and spent well around about $10,000 on equipment. I want to show you that and show you some reasoning for that. By the way, we're not on that equipment right now. And hey, maybe you won't see much difference when I switch over to, uh, to other equipment. But look, here we go. Over to another camera. There we go. This is what the Sony a7C looks like with an incredible lens on it, like so. Now, why would you want that? Well, here's the real key, is that I can be on Zoom broadcasting via this camera, should get really quite perceptually, um, perceptibly better definition uh, down the other end, depending on everybody's internet connection. I'm hardwired in, so should be as good as it can be from my end going down fiber optic uh, to, the, to the event uh, or to the meeting. But also what I can do is press record and therefore get a 4K version of what I was doing to re-edit like I'm doing for you right now. It means that I can take uh, information that I've been giving during a meeting, during a webinar, during a seminar of some sort, keynote, and then repurpose that at a really high level so that you know, I can do more with the content, potentially uh, get the content out in many different ways at high quality, even monetize it in a, in a different way. And that may be interesting to some of you. Again, look, if you're there just trying to have a simple meeting, get yourself a Logitech Brio like I've got right here. Stick it on uh, a Plexicam. Oh, let me show you Plexicam. That's what a Plexicam looks like. Uh, and then you're able to look right down the lens and see everybody else in the meeting. But at the same time, let me just show you 7C here with that uh, G Master lens, a bit of a weird kind of psychedelic thing happening in the background there. But you can see it's a massive wide angled lens, huge piece of beautiful glass there, full frame, which means you're getting 4K definition, which means you're getting just more information uh, into there. Uh, which means that you can do more with it in the end. By the way, that is on uh, a Plexicam as well, which again means I can hang this heavy camera right in the middle of the screen there and look around it at people that might be in a meeting with me, interact with them, but then take that footage in 4K like I'm doing right now and repurpose it for you. Look, if you want to know more about this camera, by the way, I'm not wedded to this particular camera. It's just that I had a good experience with Sony before. I'd had not such a good experience with Canon, not really doing what I thought it would do. I got a whole heap of cameras down there with no home at the moment because they, they just don't do what I needed them to do. Sony have, but then I've got other Sony equipment around. I mean, it might be a bias that I, I have. I totally accept that. There's lots of, you know, every, every manufacturer has their own kind of version of what we're, what we're talking about here. Uh, I'll tell you more about this particular one if you'd like to hear. If you want to hear about anything else, let me know what you want to hear about. Hope that was useful for you. Mark Bowden, expert in human behavior and body language. That is uh, Peach down there. And I will see you soon. Bye now. By the way, a little side note on this is it's such a good image that you're going to have to upgrade how you show up for the camera. Essentially, it can tell if you haven't ironed your shirt. Uh, it can tell 
everything that's going on in your face. So if you're somebody who wears makeup, you're probably gonna have to add a whole bunch more as well. That's what happened when the world went to 4K, uh, makeup changed in television and film because you could really see what was going on in people's faces. So you just wanna watch out for that, that it, this doesn't create less work, it creates way better quality, but actually way more work around that to get the best, better quality. Just thought you should know that.